Hi and welcome to MuseThemes.com. This is a video overview of our newest template called Barcello. And this is just to give you a brief, uh, really quick idea on how to go about customizing and using this template. So as you can see, we have uh, in the plan view three different master pages that can be applied to any page on the site. So we have a light, a dark, and an image. So if you create a page on your site, let's go ahead and create another page you can apply any of those masters by simply right clicking dropping to the masters pull out and selecting a master that's how we can quickly change the look and feel of a specific page now um, in order to understand what sort of content to include on your master pages we need to distinguish what is content and what is truly the design of the page we want to keep unique content on the page itself and we want to keep design elements things like background colors, um, that sort of thing on the master pages, things that are going to be consistent throughout all pages on the website. So let's jump into one of our master pages. We'll choose the uh, light page here and this is where we would change things like the navigation bar, the background color, that sort of thing. So let's just click the navigation bar, select, uh, we'll just pick a different blue here and this is using a image that's tiled in the background to create kind of that texture. So let's go up to fill and let's delete that image and let's change the color of that to blue as well. Now when we drop back to our plan view you can see that all of the pages on the site that are using the light template have automatically updated. And by simply changing the name of these pages we'll change this to contact and let's change this to portfolio you can see that they have automatically updated on the navigation bar and we can easily resize this navigation bar if uh, you feel it's too tight or you create more pages than initially provided in the template. Now on this master page let's click off kind of onto the background here go up to our browser fill and let's delete the image that I provided. Now we just have a flat color and let's change that color to black. Drop back to our plan view and as you can see all the pages that use again the light template or the light master page have automatically updated. Now you may be wondering when these pages are created they're completely blank and often we want a similar structure for our actual content throughout all pages so the trick to this is let's go up to edit and select all and what this will do is select all of our content that we have on a page and we'll right click and copy it. Now let's jump back to a blank page and click in and edit and use paste in place and what this will do is paste that exact content into this page so that you can ensure consistency and elements aren't shifting and bouncing around. Now when we want to actually edit the content in the page it's as simple as clicking, deleting, rearranging as needed. Um, you know, you can obviously resize boxes as you see fit and move headings, that sort of thing. So the content can really be customized to, uh, to your liking as needed. We can uh, tighten this up, move an image up, get rid of this text. And we also have predefined paragraph and text styles. So as you can see, this is sample headings H1. This is contact, uh, contact us H2. So if we copy and paste this, and move it down, and let's say we want this to have the H2 look and feel, we can just go over to our paragraph styles here, click H2, and it automatically updates. This text is uh, our text paragraph style, so if you create a new text box and type something in there, you can see this is different font size, let's just apply the text paragraph style, and there you have it. Now I often receive questions about linking social media buttons in the footer. You can see that the footer can't be selected while you're on an individual page and the reason that is is because footer elements are contained in the master page. So let's drop back to our master page here. Now we have the ability to select footer elements. So if you want to change this, get rid of you know our link, um, put in here your own content, absolutely go ahead and once you change that it will automatically be reflected on the content pages. So social media buttons, if we click them, we can go up to the hyperlink box, enter in our address of uh, Facebook, hit 
apply, when we preview it, now this button is active and will link to your Facebook page or whatever link you choose. So let's go ahead and just revert the template back to uh, its original format. There you have it. So this is how the template looks um, as it's provided on the site, just with the exception of images, which are uh, cannot be redistributed with templates. So this should give you a good sense on how to go about customizing this template. And uh, feel free to, if you get stuck or have any questions, send us an email to info at visualarms.com. And uh, we also have a support community plan that should be launching pretty quick that we can all kind of share this this knowledge and um, we can get some feedback on the templates. Please let us know if you have any sort of specific sites you're looking for, such as portfolio, corporate sites, or uh, any features such as widgets or sliding galleries that you'd like to see included in the templates. Thanks very much.